It's Book All Time, and the first book I have is Rad The Radleys by Matthew Haig. I'm going to give you a little short thing about this. It's about these, this family, the Radleys, and they are a modern family living in England. But there's a twist. They're vampires. But they're not like killy killy, blood blood, you know. And I love this cover. So beautiful. And then there's the back with the <coughs> bat, bats. And uh, they live in England and they're a just a regular normal family but they're vampires and um but they are keeping a secret from their children they have two children a daughter clara and a son roland and um and then uh things start to happen with the kids like they're turning into vampires and whatnot and uh the girl, and something happened, like a shocking, something shocking happens, and it looks pretty good. I got this at Amazon for like four or five bucks from the bargain section. <clears throat> the next one I got is Mary Janice, the author's Mary Janice Davidson, uh, Undead and Unwelcome, from the looks of it, is about vampires and werewolves. And I got this at Big Lots for four dollars. Yeah, yeah. And I can't wait to jump in this one. And the next one I have is Blessed by Tana Hurley. And this is the coolest one ever. I got this on Amazon for four dollars. It's a hardback in really good condition. And <clears throat> let me show show you the cover of it. Here's this side and then here's a like I guess an evil side. That's so cool. And here's the like the rest of the book. And here and then inside it's like that. Oh so cool. Mm -hmm. I think there's like illustrations in here and stuff. stuff. And this looks really good. Um, I saw it at uh, Books a Million one day, and this was like a while ago. And I wanted it, but I I just didn't want to pay full price for it, you know. So I was like, well, I'll check on Amazon, see how much. And four dollars, bam. And um. It's a, <clears throat> about these three girls. They're reincarnated saints. And they have to go on this holy mission. So it looks good. I can't wait to jump into this. Um, yeah, this one looks good. And the, ne the this is from Amazon. I don't know if I said that, but I'm just going to say it again. And the next one is Matched by Allie... Caldy, I think, matched. Um, this looks really good. Um, I've seen a lot, of, a lot of this on YouTube, and I think um, on her 17th birthday, Cassie meets her match. The society, the society dictates he is her perfect partner for life, except he's not. So I guess. <clears throat> um, like when you turn 17, I guess it's like, I don't know, yeah. it looks good, I can't wait to read this, um, I guess, like on your 17th birthday, they're like, hey, you're matched with this guy, and hey, you know, it looks pretty good, I think this is the first book in the trilogy, or the series or whatever, and I got this at a local thrift store. Yeah, I I don't remember. I think it was like a dollar or something like that. Then the next one is Double Identity by Margaret Peterson Hiddix. <clears throat> I got this at a local thrift store too. 
And some of these I've been uh, accumulating for a while because, like, I bought two books. And then I was like, I'm not going to haul two books. That's ridiculous. So I was like, and then after that I got sick. So I was like, Ugh. So, and it's um, about this girl, Bethany. And on her 13th birthday, they're acting oddly. And apparently she has, like, I don't know, twins or like a clone or something. I don't know. It looks pretty good. Yes. And the next one I got is the Infernal Devices, the Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. I got this at TJ Maxx for $7. And it looks pretty good. And I think this is the series off of, I think, it looks pretty good. I can't wait to get into this one. <clears throat> and this looks good. And the next one I got is the Mortal Instruments City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the Walmart edition. And I got this for $7.49. And the next one I have is Back Vampires, the original stories. And all these are by, oops, different authors. <clears throat> and I got this at Barnes & Noble for like four bucks, I think. <clears throat> and they, there are authors, okay. Let's see. I think one of them is Arthur Conan Doyle. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Oh, here they are. They're on the dust jacket. Duh. Okay. Um, Jonathan Letwick Trek. John. I don't know how to say that. Um, J. Sheridan Lefers. Brown. Bram Stoker. Guy. Something. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. E.F. Benson and an anonymous one anonymous author. So I guess these are like um, stories from these authors, and they're all in like one like book. And I got this at Bar yeah Barnes and Noble. I don't know if I'm gonna read it, but I might read it. I don't know. It's not not that much. So it's just that book. And the next one I have is the Buffy Chronicles. I got this at Amazon as also. And I think it was like four dollars, five dollars, somewhere around there. And it's the unofficial com companion to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I just know if this book has no so it's not considered a to the show and it has like little tidbits about the show and the author is N.E. Jennings I don't know and uh and it has like little tidbits about the show and which like st like little folklore about vampires werewolves witches stuff like that and it also has <clears throat> Like the original air date, who directed it, who wrote it, the fish, like the official air date, and all that stuff. I don't know if you can see that. And like the guest stars and the like the the full like the main cast, and it also has <coughs> um. On the side of the pages, it also has little quizzes on it, right there, Sorry. and in the next page, it has the answers, and, and it has, like, little pictures from the show, and, and, like, old pictures from old TV shows and stuff like that, and that's that one, and that's all I got, some of these I keep, like, had for a while and some of them like this came in the mail uh, I guess yesterday 
because I didn't get the mail yesterday. And this one was a few days ago. And where is... Rabbits. And this one was day before yesterday. Yep, I hope you enjoyed... That's it. I hope you enjoyed this book haul. And I will put up a review soon. Not until I finish the book I'm reading. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.